Breaking news, Ben Simmons planning to make his Nets debut game four against the Celtics if there are no setbacks in his rehab, according to The Athletic. Now, there's still a game three to play. That's, that's problem number one. Problem number two is the Nets are down two games to none. So, if he makes his debut in game four, it might be with the Nets on the brink of elimination. Game four is Monday after Saturday's game three. Let's bring in former NBA coach of the year, Avery Johnson. Avery, uh, you've been the head coach of the Nets before in different circumstances. H how much more difficult does this make things? How do you uh, approach things as the coach of the Nets if Ben Simmons returns in game four? Well, if Ben Simmons returns in game four, you know, he'll come off the bench. He's probably going to take all the uh, Nicholas Claxton's minutes, you know, those 20 to 24 minutes that he's in the game at the five position. I could see Ben Simmons uh, taking all of his minutes, playing more of a point five, giving uh, the Nets a totally different look because Claxton is more of just a run, rim runner, run to the basket, inside player. Uh, ben Simmons is more of a guy that can take you off the dribble. You get a little bit of a better switch defender on the court. So I can see Ben Simmons taking his minutes. And then also I could see uh, Steve Nash maybe using Simmons in some of those spot minute situations, probably right before a timeout when you just need to get a stop. And then you could put him on the floor for maybe a Patty Mills or a set Curry where you can get you know, better defensive team out there, even if you keep Claxton uh, on the floor uh, along with Brown. So I just think this is a situation where you, you probably need him for spot duty, somebody else to try to slow down uh, Brown and Tatum in, in some of those situations where your smaller defenders like Mills and Dragic and Set Curry are switching on those guys. They really are taking advantage of the, the Nets uh, wing defenders uh, in those situations. How much is Ben Simmons going to affect things on the defensive end for the Brooklyn Nets, being that he is, if he is 100% healthy or close to it, that he is one of the best defenders in the NBA? Well, the guy, under normal circumstances, you can probably count on him defensively. He hasn't played all year. And you're going to throw him in this heated first round playoff game when at this point, if he plays game four, Boston win or lose, they're going to need to be up 2-1 or up 3-0. And they've gotten three playoff games under their belt. So to throw him in in that situation, even if they're relying on his defense, could be a little bit uh, challenging. And then, you know, if they're able to get a split at home, then does he play uh, in game five in Boston? Because if you think Kyrie Irving caught it from the fans wait until <laughs> Ben Simmons those Boston Celtics fans get a hold of him uh, and, and really try to get under his skin for different reasons so then does he play in game five if there is a game five in Boston or is he only going to be available for home playoff games we, we don't know the answer to those questions we, we talked with Tim Doyle a moment ago and, and he suggested maybe uh, trying to goat Ben Simmons into taking some open shots. I mean, are, if you're the coach on the other side, if you're the Celtics, are you looking at doing things like that to test him when he comes back out there? Absolutely. If, if I'm the Celtics and I'm looking at a strategy defensively when Ben Simmons is in the game, his man would basically stay in the paint. He wouldn't move out of the paint. Now, if Ben Simmons goes into a dribble handoff situation or if he passes it, and fouls it up with a pick and roll, then I'll bring his man up because I'm going to utilize his man to trap Kevin Durant, to trap Kyrie Irving, and try to force them to pass the ball back to Ben Simmons. And we're not going to rotate to Ben Simmons. When you catch the ball on the perimeter, we're not rotating. You're going to have to make an outside shot. So I'm sure um, that's what type of strategy from a defensive standpoint that Boston is going to implement. And don't get fooled. Boston also could go to a zone, just go to a really, really soft zone, make sure that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant's always accounted for, but they're not going to guard uh, Ben Simmons on the perimeter. 
Uh, they're, they're still heavy underdogs in this series, are the Brooklyn Nets, despite the fact that Ben Simmons is likely going to come back at some point. Game four is the report from the Athletic right now that he plans on returning if there are no setbacks uh, in his uh, ramp up to return and debut for the Brooklyn Nets. Ultimately, how much of an impact do you think he makes on this series? I don't think he m- make much of uh, any significant impact on this series. I mean, he, he, unless he's going to become a knockdown three-point shooter and show us something that we haven't seen before, unless he's going to become an 88% free throw shooter and, and and maybe have a reincarnation of himself offensively after not playing the whole in, entire season, um, I don't think he's going to make significant impact. Still have the Celtics. I had the Celtics win in this series in six. I think they're right on pace to to – win this series. I think they provide too many problems on the offensive end for the Nets, who are not a very good defensive team. And then defensively, they can at least try to contest and contain Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Can't necessarily stop them, even though they stopped Kevin Durant in the second half of that game uh, last night. But they can do enough to try to slow them down. So I see them getting a split and coming back to Boston, trying to uh, wrap up the series in games five or game six nets plus 300 to come back and win this series down two games to none and they won't have ben simmons in game three might get him for game four avery johnson and, why, and Hassel, why, why why isn't he playing in game three that, that would, uh, you know what's <laughs> play if you can play in game four play in game three I, I can i can see it now nets lose game three and the Ben Simmons camp says, you know what, we're Set down 3 nothing. Set back. Uh, yeah, I, I think we'll just go ahead and shut him down. The season's over. I hope it doesn't come to that. Hopefully we will see him. And, and hopefully for sports fans, this is a series. And Ben Simmons does have a chance to make a difference because this is definitely high drama in the best series of the postseason uh, to this point. Although the Celtics are in the driver's seat now with the two games to none lead. They are plus 250 along with the Bucks to win the Eastern Conference. The Heat and Sixers right behind. The Nets 10 to 1 now to win the East. That was the, the favorite going into the season to win not just the East, but the NBA title. And now 10 to 1 just to get out of the Eastern Conference and into the NBA Finals. Plus 300 to come back and win the series. Breaking news out of the NBA. Ben Simmons plans to make his Nets debut in Game 4 Monday against the Celtics if there are no setbacks in his rehabilitation. That's according to The Athletic. Simmons has been ramping up as he recovers from a lower back injury. Of course, he hasn't played since last year's playoff with the 76ers. Now The Nets trail the Celtics two games to nothing in their first-round series with Game 3 coming on Saturday night. All right, for more on Simmons' return and what it could mean to the Nets in this series, let's now welcome in the champ, Rip Hamilton. Rip, Simmons hasn't played in a very long time. So what are your expectations for him as he makes his return in a game that could potentially be an elimination game? Jeremy, I mean, just because, you know, when you think about Ben Simmons being back in the lineup, your expectations are going to be sky high. But uh, me as a player, knowing that he's been out for a long layoff and he hasn't been uh, able to practice with it with, with his new team for a long time. Now he's being able to play on four on fours and get a little bit of contact out there. To be able to have a huge impact in the playoffs is is, is going to be tough. But what I do think think it does is it brings another guy uh, on the floor that you have to worry about. Uh, when you look at the Brooklyn Nets, uh, I think a lot of times when you look at their struggle, it, it happens in the fourth quarter when they need another playmaker. They need another guy to really focus on to kind of take. Kyrie and take K- KD off the ball. And when you got Ben Simmons, a guy that can play the point, that can push the ball in transition to get you easy bags, baskets, yes, he can do that. But for him to have a huge b- impact, knowing that, hey, he really don't have time uh, a long uh, regular season, a preseason, to kind of come in and to catch a rhythm, it's going to be tough. And he's playing with new players. He's playing with new guys. He's still getting familiar to a new system uh, with, Steve, with Steve Nash. So I think his impact... Uh, on the game is going to be tough, but I do think he's, he's another guy that can come on his team and uh, and 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 the opposing team got to focus on a little bit more, knowing that he is a former All Star guy that can get buckets and guy that can make plays for your ball club. For, as a teammate, I mean, how do you approach his return here, knowing that this could potentially be 
an elimination game? Well, as a teammate for him, I, I, I would try to make it easy for him. Uh, I would pretty much tell him, hey, you know what, Ben, we don't need you to, to come in and try to try to take over and try to be the guy that's going to change the series. But do what you do best, and that's get the ball off the rebound, get in transition, play fast, try to get easy basket, and defend. Uh, I think people don't realize how great a defender he is. And when you, and you're playing against great wings like a Jason Tatum and, and a Jalen Brown, uh, I would let him know, hey, you know what? This is your job. Shut these guys down. Don't go out there and try to carry us on the offense in. As the Celtics, I mean, given that his, you know, his minutes are probably going to be limited based on, you know, what the expectations are in terms of his impact on the game. So does it change the approach for the Celtics at all? Well, not really, because uh, they understand that, you know, when you look at the Brooklyn Nets, their engine, uh, how this team is run, is is behind Kyrie Irving and uh, and Kevin Durant. They understand that this team right here is a team that really likes a lot of ISO ball. They like to get to their spots. Uh, they, they get out the gates early. They understand that they got to defend them two dudes. And if they can do that and they can slow down their touches, take away their easy baskets, especially uh, in a half-court set, setting, it gives them a, a better chance of winning. But like I said, when Ben Simmons do come back, uh, they, they're going to be a faster team. They're going to play better in transition. Bruce Brown did an excellent job uh, in, in game two, and, and they understood that, hey, we're going to try to limit Kyrie and, and Katie's touches, and other guys are going to have to beat us. That's why Bruce Brown had a great four, four, uh, first quarter and played well uh, during that game. But when you add Ben Simmons to the roster, now he's the guy that can get, get the ball off the rebound and push it. I think – KD is very deadly off the ball, but when you got him at the top of the key and you got four or five guys looking at him every time down the floor, and the same thing as Kyrie Irving, they're easy to guard. So when you add another guy like Ben Simmons that can just, you know, let the game come to him, play the point guard role, get guys easy shots, I think you have to do that, make the game simple for Ben Simmons if he does come back. Okay, so possible return for Ben Simmons coming up on Sunday. That would be game four of that series. Game three, of course, coming up uh, before that on Saturday night. Let's talk about games tonight. Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ from the NBA. Ben Simmons plans to make his Nets debut in game four, Monday against the Boston Celtics. If there are no setbacks in his rehab. That's according to The Athletic. Simmons has been ramping up as he recovers from a lower back injury. He has not played since last year's playoffs with the 76ers. Now the Nets trail the Celtics two games to nothing in their first round series. Game three are coming on Saturday night. And for more on this breaking news, let's welcome in our NBA analyst, Tim Doyle, already rubbing his hands together. Tim, uh, give, give us the reaction here. Ben Simmons set to make his Nets debut and season debut in Game 4, potentially. Yeah, I'm going to take a page from the one great Jesse Spano from Saved by the Bell. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. I mean, what's going on here? We're going to bring in Ben Simmons in the middle of a playoff series, a series that the Nets could easily be up, guys, 2 nothing. Instead, they're down 2 nothing. And I don't know if I trust anybody that wears 100% lamb in the middle of the playoff season, but that's what Ben Simmons was wearing while he was sitting on the sidelines of a Nets game. The one thing that we don't know, and I can almost guarantee it, can Ben Simmons, did he learn how to shoot, Jeremy? All of a sudden, he's going to be banging down 15-footers? Like, this is when defense gets real in the playoffs, but maybe he ignites an emotional windstorm for the Nets. I said this about the Nets two years ago, and I believe it's this day. They're cursed. They're cursed. Kevin Durant steps on the line by a half an inch. James Harden gets hurt. Kyrie Irving gets hurt. The vaccine this year. It just seems like there's always going to be something with Brooklyn. And in a series that they could be leading 2-0, they're down 2-0. And, and, I mean, Tim, that's the question. Is this more of a psychological lift for the Nets at this point? I mean, what would your expectations be for Simmons, given the fact that he hasn't played since last year? Yeah, great question. Expectations, first of all, he's going to come off the bench. And then what, you know, seven, eight minutes a half? So I would say somewhere in that ballpark of, you know, 14 to 20 minutes. You know, the thing about him, Jeremy, that's so amazing is when I saw him play in high school, I said that this kid's going to be an MVP one day. Now, he hasn't learned how to shoot the ball, but, man, he can do a lot of other things. Put the ball on the floor. He's wildly athletic. 
Scouts tell me he's the best one-on-one -on -one defender in the NBA. He's an outstanding passer. He's got a great basketball IQ. He actually kind of contradicts what he is off the floor. Because off the floor, oh, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons loves himself some Ben Simmons. But on the floor, he's actually wildly unselfish. And you see the most triple doubles for the first four seasons. Um, seems like those other three guys are pretty good at basketball. Oscar, Magic, and Luka. They're only known as one-name guys. So he's immensely talented. But the one thing that he can't do well is shoot the basketball. So, you know, we're going to learn pretty quickly if teams are not guarding him. Because last year just completely lost all of his confidence, and obviously the wheels fell off there in Philadelphia. But what is he going to bring to the table? I got no idea what he's going to bring to the table, but heck, I'm excited to watch it. <laughs> how, how significant is it just to get him back at this point, given the fact that he's had such a long layoff? For him, how big is it just to get back playing basketball? You know, I, you know when I, you asked that question, the first thing that came to mind is how is he going to impact the team? And I mentioned defense. Well, Boston's got some guys that can put the ball in the basket, whether it is Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown. Like, if he is in the peak physical condition to come back and play in the playoffs, well, defensively, he can help the team because certainly he can guard those guys. He can create, you know, mismatches, you know, switching on screen. So just from a defensive standpoint, he's going to help the Nets because he's one of the more dynamic defensive players in the entire NBA. So he's going to help from that aspect, but... With Ben Simmons, does he have the yips offensively? I want to see him go out there and make a shot. You know, is he just going to shoot four footers and dunks or score in transition? You know, if I was Boston, if he was on the court, I would almost play psychological warfare with him. And I would put the guy inside the paint and I'd go ahead, go ahead, shoot it. Go ahead, shoot it. Like I would be baiting Ben Simmons. I'd be like, come on, make a shot. Like, because I think with Ben Simmons, it's all up here. So. Uh, it's going to be amazing to watch. This is outstanding drama. This is why so many people bet the Nets because there's just like so much involved in their organization. So uh, it's just crazy to think that this is a series that they could be up 2-0. Instead, they're down 2-0. And now you're getting a superstar player by, back in the middle of the playoffs. This is better than Saved by the Bell, Jeremy. This is like All My Children meets Days of Our Lives. This is the best soap opera out there in sports. Tim, you know what's also crazy to think about is that you actually spent money on those lamps behind you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Tim Doyle, as Ben Simmons gets set to make his return. <laughs> Appreciate you joining us there. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.